Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I have Birchbox. I don't know, there's not really anything else to say. Today I have Birchbox. Um, this is upside down. Today I have Birchbox. Um, if you're not familiar with Birchbox, it is a monthly subscription. It is now a tiered pricing system, but I think if you're new and you don't pay for a whole year, it's $15 a month. Um, I'm currently paying $10 a month because I have been subscribed for a while and paid for a year at a time because they offered me a discount and, and that have issues um but anyway you always get it used to be five but here the past few months we've gotten more than five like deluxe size samples so i don't know they just changed everything in june so this is the second my watch is like pulling up my hair this is the second month of the new pricing and new goodies and all of that last month the box instead of having like a lid it was like a drawer and i'm really hoping that they're doing that all the time because that makes it so much easier to reuse and they did not do that those suckers you guys it's got a lid and it's fine and this is cute enough but the drawer was so cool and you could like if we had more than one we could stack them and they'd be little drawers come on birch box get rid of the lids do the drawers had a cute little tie on the front spoiler box card thing wow this is a lot of yellow, 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 yellow. It is summer though, so I guess it's a summery color. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what they're doing this month, but I don't even, I don't even know what to do with this box right now. I'm seeing multiple things just looking at it that I am not happy about. First of them being this shampoo, which is from a brand we've gotten before. And I mean, I guess it's probably a fine brand. If I remember correctly, they're not cruelty free. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure I just got something from them last month. Uh, and I don't like getting shampoo and conditioner because I color my hair. And I need specific, like real specific shampoo and conditioner. Well, shampoo isn't as big a deal as long as it's color protecting, which this does say it's for colored hair. So, okay. But if what I'm looking at is conditioner packets to go with this shampoo, no. It's got an okay scent. Woo, shampoo. Okay, this is a hair serum, which I will track and do hair serums because my ends do get dry from the color treatment. And this one's a conditioner. Oh, and we have Benefit Gimme Brow. And Benefit's not cruelty free. So it's a good brand if you hate animals. What is this? This is from Dr. Jart. It's been a while since I've had anything from Dr. Jart. I don't remember for sure if they're cruelty free, but for some reason I'm thinking that they're not. And this is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Neutralizes redness and protects skin. All right, I'm really hoping that this is a cruelty free brand because that is something I can use. And it's got kind of, it's like a, it almost looks like a mat, like a clay mask, but it's got a nice, if you can see, nope. Because of my light, you can't see, there we go. It's got like a green tinge to it, which is a good color to get rid of redness. 
So I like that. I have red mists. Exciting. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, from Arrow, which is a cruelty-free brand. It is a brand. Um, I think I've really only seen it sold at Birchbox, but that doesn't mean that you can't get it other places. That's just the only place I've ever seen it or bought it. Um, but this is an under eye brightening serum, which is definitely something that I love to get because my eyes, you know, I got some issues. Um, it says this is in light medium. Is it tinted? Arrow makes my favorite um, tinted balm, but it's like $14, so it's outrageous, but it's so good. La, 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 la. Oh, so it is, but it's not, it's like peachy toned to get rid of the blues. All right. I may have to try that out tomorrow morning. Interesting. I was just expecting it to be like an eye cream, but it's like a legit like color corrector. Sweet. Okay, excited about that product. The next thing is from Lorenzi Cosmetics, and they are cruelty free. Yes. And this is a pressed highlighter. Okay, Birchbox. Now we're on the same speed a little bit. And this looks dark. too bad it'll probably be a nice like really natural highlight on my skin and it's definitely gonna show up a little bit better on my face because my face is lighter than my tanned arm but that is definitely darker and golden than I normally like um, but I will still try it out and see what I think I've had Loretzi stuff before but I think like only lip stuff maybe it's I've not gotten a lot from them and then the last thing in here is a perfume sample. And it says it's Italian bergamot and crushed violet petals paired with a rich gardenia and sophisticated blonde woods. Which is probably great if you like floral scents. I do not. I'm more of a smoky, earthy, spicy. I love the spicy ones. Like, think Kat Von D Center. That is my favorite ever perfume. Favorite ever. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm -mm. Why did I even try? I read the description. Why did I even smell it? And now I can taste it. That is real floral, like real, real. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no. No, and I hate getting perfume, sam perfume samples for this reason, because they're almost always florally. Because most girls like florals. So I'm like, no. Negative. Like I tend to almost like men's perfume better than women's. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. So let's talk about this hot mess. First of all, real disappointed in the box that got me all excited last month. Wouldn't even mention it. They hadn't really killed it last month. Last month was great. 
this month is not. Second of all, I hate hair products. And I got three of them, which we did technically at more than five products. So... So probably really you can count all the hair stuff as one. One, two, three, four. And then I still got six products, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So I will say that they sent a lot of products. I have to give them that. There's a lot here. If I liked more of these products, this would be a really exciting box, like volume wise. There is a lot here. I just hate getting hair products because my hair is really finicky and it's colored. And most things I get sent just don't work for me. Whether or not they're good products, my hair does not care. <laughs> it's very particular. <laughs> it's awful. So, and I just, there's a lot here, but I'm gonna try the highlighter. I love highlighters, so they did good there. It's not my favorite shade, but I have a lot of highlighters, so I probably need to have a few that are a little bit different. And highlighters are always good to use on or around the eyes if they're not your perfect like highlighter shade. So, highlighter is good. I don't think Dr. Jart is cruelty free, but this does target, there's no way to tell them that I want all cruelty free products. None of the companies do that. So I can't fault them for that. And that does target redness, which is one of my like issues. So I'm excited to try that. I'm excited to try the under eye brightening serum, which again is like one of the things that I try to target because that is definitely the worst. And the Gimme Brow, if Benefit was cruelty free or if I wasn't trying to be cruelty free, this would be exciting because it is a cult favorite. Like a lot of people love this. So I'm trying not to just bash, bash, bash. But me personally, pretty disappointed in this box. I just, there's gonna be three things that I'm gonna use. So, and they're not that big. So I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what you think of this box, like what I got down below. If you would be excited about this or if you think it's crap as well, please let me know. Um, if you got Birchbox, let me know what you got below so we can see some of the different things that people are getting. And I'm going to get off of here and stop being whiny. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.